Taliban pours 3,000 liters of liquor from raid into canal. On New Year's Day, a team of Afghan intelligence agents arrested three men and seized 3,000 liters of liquor during a raid in Kabul. The Twitter account for the General uh, Directorate of Intelligence, an intelligence agency controlled by the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, posted a video showing the confiscated alcohol being dumped into a canal. Oh, if you scroll down, we can play that video. Um, in the video, a religious leader said, quote, Muslims have to seriously abstain from making and delivering alcohol. The sale and consumption of alcohol have long been illegal in Afghanistan, but the recent crackdown has been significantly more strict. It is, it is yet to be announced what will happen to the arrested men, but the punishment will likely be harsh. Even under the previous Afghan government, a man was given 80 lashes in 2012 after he was caught consuming alcohol. Um, wait, did they punish any of these guys? Well, like I said, we don't know what they've been arrested. We don't know what their punishment is yet. But they okay, just started so pouring we... all this liquor into the canal. And I'm like, that can't be good for wildlife. I don't know. I was thinking the same thing, but I don't th I think the river is so big compared to that level of amount of alcohol. I don't think it's going to have that much of an effect. I don't know. It can't be. It's good. not like it's a factory waste. Or it's like, I mean, it looks, I mean, it's a lot of alcohol, but compared to the river, I don't think it's going to have that much of an effect. But yeah. yeah. Um, well, apparently, so, I have a friend who um, is from Khartoum, and he said that they had canals like that and that you don't actually use it for drinking. So. Okay, what kind of liquor was that? Was that like that didn't look like wine? What was that? Was I well, like I wine? don't know. Probably, I I have no idea. Uh, presumably, they're mm -hmm. not getting like um commercial quality liquor from outside the country. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was like some locally made moonshine or something, or like some locally distilled Arap. alcohol. Arap. We don't know. Okay, it was Iraq, oh, so it was Iraq. like really high high density. I don't actually know yeah. what Iraq is. I don't know. It's just like something very like ninety nine percent alcohol or something. I don't know. Like I'm exaggerating, but I don't know. I I just wonder what would the what would the fish around there feel? Um, <laughs> wait. So if this is like if this is like that level high level alcohol, this could have other use other than drinking. Like you could use this for this disinfecting things and stuff like yeah, alcohol wait, I like i want to investigate alcohol can be like uh, alcohol is is it's not illegal in islam to use alcohol for other things why would you have to waste that yeah i mean no exactly that's a very good point like there are oh, some it was, uh, it's raisin vodka that's what priya is saying uh, oh, okay. So I looked online. It says the alcohol by volume is 40 to 63% or up to 95% of homemade moonshine. Mm. Holy cow. <laughs> she was saying those fishes are having a party. Fish party. Anyways, I'm just, I'm more worried about those guys. Like, like, because they used to like Islamically, they're supposed to get lashes, right? A lot of people mm -hmm. are like, oh my God, what a waste. But like, what about these guys who got arrested? Like, are, can we please not lash them? Like, can we please not lash these like you used to 20 years ago? Like, I think that should be our main concern right now. They've been arrested. Yeah, we so don't that's know. Already yeah, that sucks. Anyway, it's good to see that Taliban knows what the priorities are should be right now when their country is facing extreme poverty and um they're using all their manpower exactly when where it's needed apparently good yeah oh and Amazing. to clarify puya was speculating that he was a rock since it's common oh, in the okay. area okay so that's thank speculation for, uh thank you for clarifying puya i thought maybe you knew something i didn't given that mm. linguistically news reporting in afghanistan would be more understandable to you who speaks farsi than to me who doesn't Okay, most hey, here's the thing. Most Iranians have no idea what's happening in Afghanistan. Like, it's like no, but yeah. I'm saying I know that the language is very similar. So I'm saying that the access not to all of it would depends. Be the, you know, different languages in Afghanistan. They're true. Different. Some of them, yeah. Okay. Um, wait, Taliban would be held who? 
No, they wouldn't behead somebody for alcohol. Um, anyways, they might get lashes. I hope they don't. I hope, like, I hope they don't get the lashes. We'll see. Let's follow up if we hear anything, if they're going to get lashes or not. Yeah. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our Blasphemy that we continue to send you more Blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.